Hello Internet, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of yours truly, Pike. Um, my humble self, I decided to make a new Let's Play, and I also finally decided on which game to play. It's gonna be this one, Deus Ex Human Revolution. And up front, I would like to tell you that it is all Variax's fault. <laughs> new game. Give me a challenge. All right. He's cyberpunk, and he's got whiskey in his hand. Great. I'll get something to drink in this game. Cheerio, bottoms up. Ah. Cutscene. Ta da! Shh, quiet, quiet. Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control their post rates. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraph is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraph wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. Uh-oh. That didn't sound good. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal. It's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. And I got control, I've got control. Ha ha ha, I can jump, I can jump. <laughs> Well, we had a little bit of an audio problem there. Um, my computer is not that fast, so I guess this game might just force its hand. We'll have to wait and see if it's uh, powerful enough to do, uh, well, fraps, recordings, and uh, the game itself. Well, before I use... Patient X. That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. 
That sounded suspicious. DNA analysis of sample taken shows unusually high presence of mutagenic chemicals in the primary strand. Come on, Don't call me a slowpoke. Uh, DNA signature. Neuroposine. Neuroposine may no longer be needed, whatever that is. Um, as I was saying, uh, this is all very Axe's fault. <laughs> uh, I got several games as a gift. Please, Adam, I'm nervous enough. Shut up, lady. I want to talk. Um, as I was saying, I got several games. I installed all of them, and uh, as it is my habit, I test played all of them. I usually do that for like 15 minutes, half an hour. I really liked the look and feel of this game. The design is great, the music is great, but the controls I struggled with. I had problems with them. And I thought women were the ones who kept men waiting. No, it's the other way around. Um, as I was saying, um, so I put it aside and said, well, I'll come back to it later. Maybe this is something I would like to let's play. But then, unfortunately, I saw on Variax's channel that he was let's playing it. And I thought, come on, I, I played for half an hour so I can watch the first video. And I watched the first 30 videos. So I, uh, I actually know some of the story. Uh, I, then, I then stopped watching and thought, okay, before I watch any further, I have to decide, like, do I want to know all about the game? Do I watch the Let's Play? And the only idea that cropped up in my mind to stop me from watching Variax's Let's Play was doing my own, which is what I'm gonna do now. Computer! You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. Who's Frank? Uh, unfortunately, I know that she's my ex-girlfriend because, like I said, I uh, I watched very ex's let's play. Um, Please, well, Adam. Well, I'm nervous enough. Part of it. Call me, Megan, honey. Why aren't you picking up your phone? I've tried to, at your Cassandra Reed. That's her mother. Here, at least when you and Adam were together, I knew he'd make sure you eat every once in a while. I don't suppose you found some nice new man to keep you company. Ah, uh, like mother, like daughter. Uh, anyway, David Seraph. Uh, and I thought women were the ones who kept men waiting. David, I'm scared. What if they ask me where I got the first sample? What if they ask about patient X? I don't know how to answer that. I told you, Megan, those kinds of questions fall under a slew of legal protections. Proprietary information, patient confidentiality, you name it. Denzel and his legal team are going to be right there next to you, waiting to jump all over their asses the second they ask. David's waiting, Sh Adam. We shouldn't keep him. Just stick to the science. Patient X. Wasn't that what I just read? Meg, you're only going for three days, right? So it shouldn't be a problem. Just drop the keys off before you leave. Diane, I'm really in a bind. Doggy daycare is full and I can't find anyone to take care of Kubrick. You got a dog named Kubrick? Come on, Slowpoke. Adam's always been my backup. Technically, Kubrick is his dog too, but obviously not this time. Why not? Oh, because I'm going along. Hey, stop reading my email. Hey, Megan, I know you had some questions. About I'm a prick. I don't care. I'm, I am reading your emails. I'm responsible for your security, as far as I understood. I know you had some questions about the files Please, I Adam, sent. Sorry about I'm all graphs earlier, but that sample was nothing short of groundbreaking. I got excited. I don't suppose you could tell me where you got it. Uh-huh. The DNA samples are remarkable, and we were unbelievably lucky to catch the reason why. We've been working with the first of life's new chaos model genome matrix. And I thought women were the ones who kept men waiting. The thing is, the sample you sent fits one of our evolutionary models of the future. We're talking about someone who is ahead of the genetic curve by one step, maybe two. Do you know what this could mean for medicine alone? You have a living, breathing Nobel Prize on your hands. David's waiting, Adam. The thing is, I can't tell you if this is a natural leap in evolution or something done to the mother while the baby was in vitro. 
but I do know who's Rebecca Downey. I do know that this person's mother had no such mutations. The mitochondria don't lie. Okay, what was that? Patient X. Come on, slowpoke. More interesting to note, however, is what these chemicals do when isolated and introduced to the PDOT cluster. Less than 24 hours, artificial materials within the cluster have been completely encapsulated in a thick, semi permeable coating of subjects own neural tissue in effect the invaders are being disguised as part of subjects nervous system oh so he can take technical implants without rejecting them that's cool Please, Adam. tests have yet I'm to be concluded enough. but it's my belief that PDOT clusters built with this unique DNA signature will be undetectable to the human immune system the bond between what is nervous system and what is external device will be blurred to such an extent that no glial tissue buildup will occur neuroposine may no longer be needed neuroposine what is neuroposine I guess it's a it's a well it's some kind of medication that you use in order to Stop and your I women were the ones who kept men waiting. Body from rejecting. You are nervous, aren't you not? Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. Yeah, sure. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. <sighs> Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay, but the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right, I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of... Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading in terms of my theory. I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You cool. think everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. It's not all Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? Washington? Huh. Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. He's a Russian! But I've improved its design using shaped microchargers to propel the steel balls. And the back blast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. What are kinetic bleeders? I mean, I'm not stupid. I do have some scientific background. Kinetic bleeders? How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. I know what a cytometer is, but... You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. <laughs> You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. I want the cappuccino maker. <laughs> We're being watched. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Oh. 
Richard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? I fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. Want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers, Athena. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites. I don't care what it takes. I want a Udero in Washington by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you Darrow ever did. Environmental malfunction. And here Laboratory we go. <laughs> six. All lab chips, All right, everybody report. ready? We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. 0451. What was she about to tell me? There's something fishy about that. Something's not quite right. She was about to confess Richard, something. Where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard! Jensen! So I'm Danish. <laughs> oh? What happened to you? Hey, wait, can I... He just died on me. Holy moly. Okay, I'll just pretend I've never seen this before. Although, like I said, I played the game for like half an hour and then I watched a few of Variax's videos. Uh, now that I'm playing it myself, I can continue to watch Variax's videos because I can watch what I've already played and see how he did it. It's the only way. Got an interesting weapon there, Dane. Man, this is not a malfunction. Somebody's been on a killing spree here. Uh-oh. Oh. Ouch. <sighs> he didn't even turn around, the bastard. <clears throat> If this is bulletproof, how did he make that indent? Come on, that's not possible. Moving objects. I'm not gonna watch the tutorials. This time, I've read the manual. And, like I said, we'll 
already played it for half an hour. And I really, really sat down and tried to memori memorize. All the keys. You're still working? Oh, it looks like rather broken. Whoa, the, the building is burning from outside? Where's the fire department, man? I'm not going to be a sneaky guy this time. I'm going to be a dirty, hardcore, kill them all guy this time. Oh, uh, grenade! Take cover. Damn it. Me. Grenade. You oh. Oh, the line. Still two of them. Oh, uh, one of them's coming down. Shut up. Really? The nerve you people got. Where's the cappuccino maker? I want that cappuccino maker. You kill that poor bloke, you should be ashamed of yourself. Give me that. Move. Why should I move you? <sighs> I don't have an inventory. It's kind of aggravating. Wow, oh, you still alive? Uh, just looked like it. Can I jump? Oh. <sighs> Please don't kill me followed by gunshots is never a good sign. Okay. All guns blazing! Where's that third guy? Yep. I can switch sides. I'm an elegant bastard. <laughs> there he is. Hello! Oh. 
You're still moving? No, you're not. Give me yours. All got the same stuff, huh? Oh. Move. I can move those. Just an idea, but what happens if I... They don't explode? Oh, yes, they do. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's good to know for later. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Is that one of them? What was that? Why can't I take your weapon? Oh, Seraph Industries? Oh, hold it, these are my men. What's going on down there? Ow. Another one bites the dust. they firing at? They don't even know where I am. They just throw a grenade at my... at my position. Come on, come up here. Be a... I can take a lot of bullets. We'll see about that. You're the only one left. I'm gonna get further than you, that's for sure. Where's your weapon? You're lying on it. Give it to me. Well, this is fun so far. I'm not gonna move you. Why should I move you? Oh, look at this. That's Detroit? Unbelievable. I mean, Detroit is a ghost town nowadays. Nothing going on but the rent. <laughs> totally deserted. Uh, 
Okay. Um. Well, so far so good. I'll be signing off here. We'll uh, do the next part tomorrow. See you then.